And at last I see the light And I swear I'll never sing again mm, Sorry So some of you may have noticed that there's always this light behind me. And as you can tell, some really fine craftsmanship went into this piece. But it's not just an ugly lamp. It's actually a teaching tool. See, this light shows Catholic justification. And as you can see, there are two light switches and a dimmer switch. And both switches have to be on for this light to turn on. If either switch is off, the light doesn't light. Okay, so what does this mean? The light itself represents our personal salvation. So for me, if the light is lit, I am saved. If it is dark, I am not. The switch on the left here represents God's mercy. In sending his son to die for us on the cross, he reconciled the world to himself and forever turned his switch on. He will never turn his switch off. The switch on the right is my acceptance of that grace through faith. Through the profession of faith and baptism, I have turned my light on. And in keeping God's commandments, avoiding sin, and doing what he told me to do, I keep my light on. However, we humans are not as loyal as God. His radiating love never gives up on us. But we give up on him. We fail him and we sin. And when these sins are serious, we turn off our switch. We say in that moment, God, I know what you want, but I don't want that. I want what I want. And then we give up our salvation and sin. The choice is ours alone. God doesn't want us to sin, but we do. And it breaks God's heart. The Father loved us so much that he sent his son to die for us. And we turn off our switch. God's switch is still on. He's still there waiting, aching for us to come home. And he gave us the means to do that, confession which I explained in another video. Look in the description. And the dimmer right here is for venial sins. Sins that we commit against God, but they're not so serious as to damn us to hell. We don't lose our salvation. This is also explained in another video. Link in the description. However, every venial sin that we commit dims our light more and more each time, never extinguishing or hurting our relationship with God. Venial sins, in turn, make us more likely to commit mortal sin. We tease sin and it gets easier and easier. Our will gets weaker and weaker. What's cool about this light is that it follows the formula of absolution that the priest says when he absolves you of sin in confession. So God sent his son to die for us, so his switch is already on. You accept that grace through your faith and you turn your switch on. You commit some venial sins which dims your light. Then you commit a mortal sin which turns your switch off. So you go to confession, confess your sins, get your penance, and then this happens. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, may God grant you pardon and peace, and I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Like, how cool is that? Your light comes back on. You're saved again. It's like nothing ever happened. By the way, I did not absolve anybody of their sins. I just know the prayer. I don't have the authority to absolve anybody of their sins. Check the disclaimer. And by the way, I need to go to confession because... Editing Terry here. I can't believe I almost forgot to say this. God bless and get a colonoscopy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Nope, wrong way.